Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Senleia is on her way, she is heading over this way, she is going to come in and land right in front of Anvilmar, and then we will be able to do what we need to do. I hope. We need the transmog mount. Here she comes, here she comes, there she is. All the way up there with her fancy schmancy mount that she's got. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm over here. I'm over here. The, 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 what we got right here, the, this is unacceptable. Let's, let's give her a wave. Right. Transmogs. This dude. Oh, I have just the thing, Wanderer. I have just the thing, Wanderer. That one. I want the hidden helm. There. You can apply this look to all your specializations or just your current one. Oh. All specializations. Yes. Well, we will, we will do that. Create the perfect outfit, save it for future use. Oh, that's actually pretty good. It's only these that I want to get rid of. So I want to cover up also the shoulders. We don't want to have that one showing and the cape. We want to cover up the cape as well. Right. Got rid of that. You can actually hide all of these things, can't you? I don't want to hide anything else. That is all the guns that we've got in here. I don't want to change those. I'm not going to change those to anything else. Although, actually, I suppose we could change this gun. Not really sure that is... Uh, hang on. Right, I definitely don't want anything like that. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm using heirlooms. This is the first time I've ever used heirlooms. I don't like heirlooms. Uh, uh, well, not normally, but we are going to use them on here. But I don't like the look of them. So we we got to change We got to change these over. So don't laugh at me, Sen. This is not very nice. Ooh, Bear Hunter's Rifle. I'm kind of liking the idea of one of these basic-looking rifles right here. Uh, the Massive Firearm of Death, maybe not. Then we've got the Blunderbuss. That's... A very dwarven thing, these these blunderbusses, or Daryl's rifle. Reliable boom o No, I don't want that. No, upgraded dwarven hand cannon. See, sort of looks right. I'd rather have one of these. We've got that one right there, or we've got the bear hunter's one. Right, I think we'll go with the bear hunter's one. We'll go with that one. That is one goal to apply that appearance, so I'm going to put that one on there. And that's all we're going to do. We're not going to change anything else. Beware of Yeti. I've now... That's, that's much better. That is much, much better. Let's, let's, let's uh, blow a kiss a minute. And what does the jokes do? Ah, winter. Yes, winter. <laughs> really? That's it? Let's get on with it then. I've got a quest to do in 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with this guy? Oh, I'm just a social drinker. Every time someone says I'll have a drink, I say, so shall I. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Who are you blowing kisses to? Let's see what else we got. Uh... Where are you from? <laughs> Not that it matters. <laughs> See, I can't hit. Turnoffs are rude people, mean people, and people who aren't nice. Alright, I can dance. I can definitely dance. We'll, we'll do some dancing in a minute. There. Look at me go! Look at my dancing! Okay, her facial expressions while she's dancing are just. <laughs> Look at the face! <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> absolutely brilliant! I had no idea. I I didn't know that that like the, the the face the facial expressions had changed. I can dance like this. Well, okay, maybe not. Maybe not quite that good. But what's my facial? I can't see my face. My face is covered in a massive, great big beard. Um, let me go with. You look pretty. I like your hair. Here's a drink. Are you ready now? <laughs> Let's do another joke. I don't have a drinking problem. I drink, I get drunk, I fall down. No problem. <laughs> okay, she doesn't seem to think much of that, does she? But I've, I've tried flirting with her and... I'm... Enough of this chit-chat. Let's get to it then. 
apparently she doesn't appreciate the um the 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 direct approach. Apparently with Sen you do have to actually talk to her first. Um, who who do thunk such a thing? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's a, there's a little uh, a, a a little tip for you there. If 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 you if you would like to sweet talk Sen Leia, you do actually have to talk to her to be able to sweet talk her. Let's go into here because there was something. Ooh, worthless piece of glass right there. I I need some of these. We've got one so f Oh, no, that is all I've got. This is going to be another one of those grey things that I've got to get. And I've got to get lots and lots of. Right, we we got to go. We've got questing and stuff to do. Goodbye. So, uh, farewell. Not... F no, no, no. Uh, let me spell that correctly. Farewell, like that. Till we meet again. Fare thee well, Senlayer. Fare thee well. Right, we are going to go for a walk up here. This is, this is a lot better. We're, we're looking a lot better now. This is, this is how I want us to appear. I'm pleased with this. We will go into Anvil Mar and we will do some actual questing. This is the beautiful and relaxing Anvil Mar. It's not very busy with, you know, lots of other people, mainly because it's right over, well, it's it's up there in Coldridge Valley, and then you've got the starting area, which is, like, the main village for the starting area is up there, and then you've got Iron Forge, which is up over there. That's where people are going to be. You're not going to get anything more than just starting characters down in here. Uh, we will just go and speak to Jonah Ironstock to hand in this one, but before we do... We're planning a guild run for the Nazjatar Blood Serpent on Monday the 4th of May starting at half past four server time. And we're only going to do this in full groups. Sen has already got the materials to do one. So you basically you've got to summon this serpent up and then uh, you defeat this boss as a five man group. And then everybody that's in the group gets one of the mounts dropped. Now, this is absolutely fantastic, and it's awesome, and it's fun. Um, everyone will get the mount. We're only doing full groups. You see there, the materials for it cost 100,000 gold. Now, Sen has gone and spent 100,000 gold buying materials for a full group, and she is going to get the materials for a second group. So any donations for from people in the guild uh, just... Put donations in the guild bank, and we will take some of the funds that we've got in the guild bank, and we'll give them to Sen to help cover some of those costs, because she is planning on getting a second lot of mats, which is going to be over 200,000 gold that she's going to be spending on this, and that's, that's that's a lot of money. That 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 is a lot of money. So people that would like to take part, you're welcome to come along. Um, we would ask over the next few weeks that if you're able to donate a little bit of money into the guild bank those of you who are adept at making money um please do so and then we can let sen have a little bit back for her troubles she's said that you know she is able to cover it but i know for a fact that she's running out of money she's she's running low on funds at the moment she's sometimes able to have quite a lot but at the moment her money is ticking down so uh yeah it 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 would be a nice gesture just to let her have some back. We will not run a part group on this, right? It's 100,000 gold. We will make sure we run full groups only. That is what we're going to do. It's going to be full groups of level 120 characters. And what the idea will be is we'll run a full group. And then if there's enough, a second group can also run. We'll give them the mats and then they can go and run. The... Mount is account wide, so if anybody has got the mount, definitely won't be going in the group. We want to get as many people to have the mount as possible. We don't want extras. We don't want spares, anything like that. We want and we want everybody to be able to get their grubby little paws on this mount. It looks really cool. Unfortunately, I can't go and search it up in here for some reason. It doesn't actually show the Nazjatar. Um, thingy in here, the Nazjatar Blood Serpent, it doesn't show in here, which is really unfortunate. It doesn't show in the mounts thing. So I can't show you, but Sen has been riding around on it before the end of the Grundorn series, so we have seen it there. Um, so we will 
be able to get it. And then if people can't make this time, the half past four server time, and they would still like to be able to form a group. As so long as there is a five-man group, then we can organize another five-man group at a different time so that another five people in the guild can get it. But this is the idea. We, we'd like to get as many people having this mount as possible. Anyway, let's not worry about that. Let's get on with this. I have rabbited on way too long about that. Joan Ironstock, I'll speak to you. Welcome. Welcome. Ah, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy in here? Go and bother someone else. I haven't the time. Wait, what's that you say? Yorin sent you to help. Oh, why didn't you say so? Uh, I thought for a minute it was me leveling up, but it's not. I don't know how anyone expects any to get any work done around here if we don't have any ale. Our beer level in Avomar is dangerously low. Lucky for us, we've stored some backup kegs for just such an occasion. West of Andalmar, along the valley's northern border, you'll find kegs of Stormhammer Stout and Theramore Pale Ale just to the east of here. You'll find a stash of Gnomon Brew. That's my personal favourite. Okay, we'll go, we'll go and get that for you. We will help you out with this, Jonah. We, we will do what you need us to do. And I've got a Grundle Hark in here, the armourer. How are you? Who are you? Bill Drass, my boy, are you into archaeology? We have an exciting opportunity right outside our front door. All the shaking from today's seismic event has knocked a number of artifacts loose from the soil around our encampment. Survey along the valley's northern border and you should find all sorts of treasures. Bring some back to me and perhaps we can study them together. Be good. I'll see what I can do. Right, so we've got a couple of bits out there that we need to go and um, survey and... Wait, what did he say? Did he actually say survey? Uh, yada yada yada. Um, obtain five forgotten dwarven artifacts. Oh, bring them back and we can study them together. Right, okay, that's that's this one. Uh, Jack Ross has got patrol mission specialist. Oh, nice. He's already he's he's leveled up there. We will say, you know, probably if, if I actually say it in guild chat, that, that, that would be pretty good. You're well, well done, Jack Rost. You're doing well. We want to go over this way. We need to get some booze to help out the encampment. So we're going to go and get that bit right in there. The Stormhammer Stout. And we need the Theramore Pale Ale and the Cask of Nomenbrow. Where are, where, where, where are they? She, she said, where did she say they were? Uh... Kegs along the valley's northern border. We'll find those. Well, they're, they're they're further along this way. We've also got these, the forgotten dwarven artifact. So we'll grab that one. I know that one. Oh, there's another one. And I'm pretty sure that the ale. That there's one the other side of Anvilmar. That should be a fairly easy thing to go and get. And then there's this one here. The XP event. We got this bonus XV, the, the Winds of Wisdom. That has now been extended. It's going to be on permanently until the start of the new expansion. So we will be leveling up pretty quickly as we go through towards the new expansion. I've got a small crag boar right there that I'm going to shoot. And we got right here you can, a concussive shot, dazes the target, slowing movement speed, and then the cobra shot. So I think what you do, that one first and then that one. Seems like a good combination. And the small crag boar, you can't actually skin those. They're not skinnable. So there's nothing here that we can skin. And that's what we're going to learn. Now, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but I make a little, like, uh, I made a little bio about uh, Grondor. And he was a farmer, uh, he was middle-aged, and... Um, then Murlocs came along and slaughtered all of his family, and that's why he took up the sword and board. Um, this dude here, Beldrast, he is not even middle-aged. He's, he's relatively young by dwarven standards. He's only about 85, 86 years old. So dwarves live for 200 to 250 years. So he's, he's not, uh, he's, he's a relatively young chap. Um, at just about, he, he, we'll, call, we'll say he's 85. We we'll call him 85 years old. Um, so he's a relatively young chap. And he's spent his life so far uh, 
living here. Like he has spent his life around Coldridge Valley and, and, and just around this whole area. But what he's also done is he goes over into Loch Moden and he trades with people over here in Thelsimar. And he does frequently go down into the wetlands to hone his hunting skills down there as well. And he's made his living through trading furs, skins and meat with the people of Felsmar and heading up into Ironforge occasionally as well. He doesn't like the big city, doesn't spend very much time in Ironforge if he can help it, and he likes to get back out into his beloved mountains, open countryside, and that's where he spent his life. But just recently, with all the disturbances and so on, he's, he's felt that he wants to get a little bit more, you know, he's, he's, he's spent the last 60-odd years living in the wilderness, and he does feel that maybe it's time he contributed a little more to Dwarven society. So that's what he's doing, is he's now decided to lend his gun and his skills to the um, the war effort, and he's starting off here, just, just to, like, see how he's going, and he'll work his way up the ranks. So that's a little bio for our dude Beldrast right here, and that's that's his life story. So he's, he's going to just work his way up the ranks and, and do whatever he can. He's... Some dwarves are all into the mining and the blacksmithing and stuff like that. This dude right here, he is he's not a, he's not a miner, he's not a blacksmith, he's not interested in that. Skinning and leather working are going to be his passions. He does already know how to do that, but we're we're going to be teaching him um whole new ways of learning. So he's, he's basically just going to assume that he's forgotten everything and we're going to start from scratch. So he's going to be skinning and leather working. How are you? Long story short, the ale, darling. The ale. Jonah drinks deeply from the Noman brow. Ah, that hits the spot. Now we can get some work done around here. If we're going to be on lockdown for any extended period of time, we're going to need some food and some blankets to keep the wee ones warm. Would you mind heading outside and gathering up some supplies? You'll find that a few of the small boars actually have some healthy-sized haunches. Good for eating. We'll also need some pelts from the young wolves. You'll find animals almost anywhere you go in Coldridge. Off with you. You got my attention? Yes. Wonderful. Look at this one. It must be over 200 years old. Now, on to other matters. We're leveled up. We're level 5. The Trog village to the southwest suffered similar damage to ours. One would assume, logically, that there would be some Trog artifacts sticking out of the ground too. Unfortunately, it looks like most of the artifacts have already been scooped up by Trog scavengers. Please, go see if you can find some way to get them back. Believe it or not, knowledge about trogs may eventually lead to further knowledge about the mighty dwarves. Watch your back. Well, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I don't see any other quests over there, so we will go for a quick... We got Momito, Wapiti... Okay, they're, they're, there's loads of them over that way. We'll, we'll leave them to it. We want to go down over this way. It's like we've got trog artifacts down here. Now, I also need those so we will take some of these down as we go there's a boar haunch right there and we need to take out some of these trogs right here so i'm going to take that one there and he's got the concussive shot that i've just hit him with like that and he's out and then this dude right here is busy walloping me seven copper from those guys uh, that is a snow cub. I've already collected one of those. I don't know if it's a blue quality or not. I don't have a target. I don't have a target. Okay, I, I should do that one first before I do the other one. Have you noticed I've already run out of rested XP? That's because where we've been um, resting in Anvilmar, they don't actually have the um, rested XP boost that comes up. Okay, if I attack these guys, they throw artifacts at me. Right. Uh, <laughs> they throw an artifact, and I also get one anyway. That's that's actually pretty good. I like that. And there we go. And then I take that one down. And we're done. Okay, that's, that's got the artifacts right there. Now I need a few wolves, and I need a few boar as well. So I've got a small crag boar. I only need one more haunch. And then we go find some wolves. I, I I stunned you with a concussive shot. You're not supposed to charge into me like that. Now I've got to find the wolves. 
There was a wolf or two over this way. So there might still be a wolf or two over this way. Somewhere. I've definitely seen a wolf or two around here. There's one. Oh, yeah, there's two, actually. We got one right there. I need some ragged wolf hides. Do you see any more? There's, there's a wolf over there. Let's hit that one. And then I want to go over here. And I want to hit that one. Okay, that wolf is now dided already. And that one's out as well. So we will take one. That's a bit pitiful. I was hoping I could do better than just one. Is there another... I thought I seen another... Oh, there. I, I knew there was another wolf around here somewhere. Let's take that one out. And there. Right, so there's two ragged wolf... There's all the wolves. One down there and another one up over that way. So we will just smack him with this shot at the moment. We've got this uh, cobra shot that we're shooting him with at the minute. So there's another cobra shot there. Uh, actually, I'll do the concussive shot like that. It slows him down. And then we can take him down. We can kill him before he actually gets here. Fairly easy doing that. Right, that looks like bigger and nastier things that way. So we'll leave them for a minute. We'll end up coming back to those anyway. So we don't need to worry about them for a second. I reckon we're probably going to have to get artifacts there. But at the same time, we may have to end up... We may end up getting more materials or something from there as well. You know something I didn't do? Um... Oh, wait. Returns me to Anvil, Mar. Okay, we'll put that one on there, like that. And we'll put it up on there, like that. So we can half back to Anvil, Mar at any point, should we wish to. All right, I'll take you out. And I'll take you out over there. This way, take that one down. And then you as well. There's another. And now I can half from here right back to Andalmar. That's got me a 15-minute cooldown that one will have. It's not very far that we've got to go, but we might, we might as well use it as we're here. There we go, right back into Andalmar. We can go and speak to Grundle. What can I get for you today? Did you manage to pry any artifacts from the trogs? Well, would you look at this? An axe blade, a couple of arrowheads, and what appears to be some sort of rudimentary spoon. This is indeed fascinating. Thanks again for your help, Beldrast. I have much studying to keep myself occupied while Joran's got us under lockdown. We get that one, but we see those there. We don't get it. We, we're using heirlooms. This, this is. With you. We do level up. The, the one bit that I don't like about heirlooms is that we don't get to constantly change up our gear. Great to meet ya. Seems like a bit of a shame. Uh, never mind. It's it's okay. I uh, didn't get anything extra with leveling up to level six. People are getting restless. Do you have the supplies yet? This will have to do for now, but we've a lot of people to feed here. Uh, we've a lot of people to feed here, but we've got to make do with what we got. With any luck, King Bronzebeard and Ironforge will send us some help shortly. You've done us a great service here, but I'm afraid I've got to send you off elsewhere. Graylin Whitebeard is a good friend of mine, has put in a word that he may need some reinforcements near the troll camps to the southwest. Follow the road westward, you should find him soon enough. Be well, Beldras. Trogs may be a pain, but trolls are a whole other type of trouble. Watch your back. No more quests over this way, so we need to go and find. Uh, what's it called? Grelly, Graylin, Gre Greelin, Grelin, Grelin, Whitebeard, Graylin, Whitebeard, something like that. Something along those lines. Something, uh, Mr. Whitebeard. We, we need to go and find Mr. Whitebeard. He's he's over here somewhere. And when we find young Mr. Whitebeard, young Master Whitebeard. Although I suspect if he's a white beard, he's, he's, he's probably slightly older than us. We, you got to remember, we're only a young whippersnapper as far as dwarves go. We're only, a, we're only 85 years old. Young, sprightly, and still got plenty of stride in our stride. Plenty of energy in our stride. There he is. See, he's a bit older. He's got a long white beard. He's, he's definitely definitely an elder there. Uh, let's... let's Right, you, you look at him. Hang on, look at look at me a minute there, and then although you know this this is just kind of how I made my face look, but he definitely looks older, doesn't he? Let's let's put us both of us side by side here a minute. Who looks older? Who who put, who who does this the best? Hang on, I I want to get right in there. There we there we go. A uh, little bit like that there. Right, who looks older? He definitely looks older. I think my beard looks more majestic though. 
How are you? Welcome, Hunter. Are you ready to get to work? Trolls are acting up more than usual, I'd say. Uh, we've seen them put together war parties before, but this time it's different. What matters most, however, is the continued protection of Andalmar. I have no intention to let these trolls flank Andalmar while its attention is turned towards the trogs. Go thin the ranks a bit. They need to know that we're still not without defences. Keep your feet on the ground! I got more quests over here. Felix Windleball. Hey! What? Off and away. Off and away? My, you're a tall one. Oh dear, things aren't looking good for Felix. I was on my way to join my fellow gnomes at Gnome Gnom that but, but then it all went so horribly wrong. I left Anvilmar, bags packed, and wading waist deep through the snow. Then we had this ridiculous earthquake and I got all turned around. I ended up here. What's worse, the troll stole all my stuff. Beldrast, I've obviously proven myself to be quite incompetent over the last day and a half. Would you mind infiltrating the troll camp southwest of here and returning my stuff to me? You have a great day now. You have a great day now. I'll see what I can do, dude. I will see what I can do. Apprentice Soren over here. You got my attention. I'm notoriously bad at reading troll facial expressions. That being said, these trolls don't look angry to me. They seem to be confused, maybe a little frightened. Something happened that we're not seeing here, Beldrast. I say we do some investigation before we just kill every troll in sight. There are three troll camps in the area. One to the southeast, one to the southwest, and one due west. Each camp has a soothsayer. See if you can get close enough to listen to what they're saying. Safe travels. Right, so I need to get close enough to see what they're saying. At the same time, I've also got to slaughter a whole load of trolls. Right, well, we'll do the slaughter of the trolls after I've... I'll go in close and we'll see if I can hear what they're saying. There's the soothsayer. The spirits be angry with us. I don't know why the spirits be rejecting us so. Don't worry, child. Grigna gonna help us get through this. Right, now, I've, I've come along and I, I've, I've just tried to see how they're doing. And then now I'm, I, I feel kind of bad because I'm about to just go and slaughter them all instead of, um, you know, doing anything else. So I, I'll just quickly... Okay, I can hit, I can take these things down pretty quick. And you over there, there's, there's 3 out of 10. I got 21 copper for that. That's put me all the way up to 499 gold and 6 silver. I spent... I, I started off with 500 gold and then spent a load of money on um, uh, n new, new outfits, didn't I? That's, that's where our money went, is on the new outfits. I've gone and got one of Felix's things. So I think what we'll have is there'll be one item, if, one of each of Felix's items in each of the camps. That's how it's going to work out. So we'll run over here and we'll go and see what the next troll soothsayer has got to say. There's the other of Felix's items. Grab that one. So let's go and hear what she's got to say. What are we going to do now, you ask? We wait. Grignir says we gone talk to the elemental. Get it to fight on our side. Soon enough. We take over this valley. Soon enough. Okay, I don't, I don't like the sound of the taking over the valley bit. That, that definitely doesn't sound like it's um, conducive to dwarven survival. So we will just... Deal with a couple of these right here. Take them down a bit. As quickly as I can. As you out and... I've reached level 7 already. There's another 13 copper. And I will also get Felix's chest. Like that. And then we need to head over to the final camp. It's quite easy wandering through this lot. Because none of them are actually trying to attack me. Which definitely makes life a little bit more simple. Than if they were just openly trying to slaughter me. There's a troll whelp over there. I do like that I can run and shoot at the same time. Definitely makes life a little bit easier. There's that one out. And then you over here. This viper shot. Or the cobra shot, sorry. Well, unfortunately, folks, the bear is getting a wee bit tired. And 
Well, I suppose we could admit that we're getting a little bit tired as well, so we're going to have a little bit of rest and recuperation, enjoy some meat and mead. And while we do that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.